There is a school in Texas that someone identified, you ready for this, for a cat, and they made them put out a litter box. I thought it was something from the onion. Absolutely true. true. Wow. That is because our principals don't stand up anymore. Right. You know, back my parents were in education, so if I that would have been brought up, they would have been slapped the hell the out, of that, anti, out of the classroom. Anti traditionalism yeah. that's happening right now is on, it, on, on every level, it seems like. Yeah. No, they're embracing lies. I mean, literally embracing lies. Okay, if some student wants to pretend like a cat and use a litter box after school, that's their prerogative, whatever. But no, the school and the school resources and the other students and teachers should not have to be uh, put through that because it's a lie. Yeah. And and we have to reject them. It's not about people's feelings. It's about the truth yeah. and rejecting the lies. And we have to stand up. They're embracing lies, Marjorie Green claims, after embracing one of the dumbest lies imaginable. And contrary to what they said in that video, that is not happening. It's been thoroughly debunked. And before we get to the origins of that particular dumb conspiracy theory that blew up in right wing circles, just ask yourself for a moment if somebody brought this information to you and they claimed with a straight face that students at schools were shitting in litter boxes, how would you react? Perhaps if you're being polite, you would think, oh, OK, interesting. Sounds weird. I'll have to look into that. But would you just like believe it? Odds are you wouldn't because you're not as gullible as most right-wingers. But right-wingers heard that story and they thought, oh, yeah, that sounds pretty plausible. Kids shitting in litter boxes at schools. Yeah, that's probably happening. And they ran with it. So I've got two things to say about this story. First of all, don't forget to redeem your free Trump book at freetrumpbook.com. Second of all, notice how Marjorie Taylor Greene was seemingly more open-minded to the prospect of kids using litter boxes at school than she is to trans people because she said oh well that's their prerogative i mean i agree sure i mean if your kid wants to shit in the litter box that's probably not very sanitary but like it doesn't really affect me so i genuinely don't care but yet there's no demand to have this banned i mean marjorie taylor green she created legislation to erase trans students out of existence to make it so that way kids who are receiving gender affirming care well, um, they have to detransition. But yeah, when it comes to cat kids, she's like, no, we don't have to ban that. That's perfectly fine. Interesting. Now, there's a reason why I'm bringing up trans people, and this is because this whole myth stems from hysteria over trans people, and it's honestly semi-based in the one joke that right-wingers have, which is, oh, what's that? A boy can identify as a girl? Can I identify as anything that I want to? Can I identify as an Apache attack helicopter? So, you know, this is kind of the logical extension of that. Oh, well, what's that? If boys can now identify as girls, I guess that kids can identify as cats. So that's where we're at in American political discourse, where to fearmonger over trans rights, you have to make it seem as if it's a slippery slope. But if your kid is trans, then that's going to lead to kids identifying as cats and dogs and cars and fill in the blanks. Now, this lie originated from a December 2021, 20, uh, on December 21st, a school board meeting at the Central Michigan School District. Um, and one person in particular brings this up based on something that she heard, cites no evidence, but she then proceeds to extrapolate. And after she said this, it blew up. So take a look. This is where the conspiracy theory originated. Yesterday, I heard something um, and I was stunned, and today I am equally stunned and a little bit upset, well, not a little bit, a lot of bit upset, furious, I, don't, I would even use that word, but um, I want to talk to about the fact that, and I know this is going on nationwide, so it is not just for your, for this board, but our community needs to understand that the agenda that is being pushed through our schools is um, just my opinion but somewhat nefarious when it comes to some of the um, activities. So let's talk about fury, furries. <laughs> it was addressed by a child uh, a couple months ago that they are put in an environment where there are kids that, are, that identify as a furry, a cat or a dog, whatever. And so yesterday I heard that at least one of our schools in our town has a, in one of the unisex bathrooms a litter box for the kids that identify as cats. And um, I am really disturbed by that. 
And I, I will do some more investigation on that. I know it's going on nationwide. I know it is. It's part of the agenda that's being pushed. I don't, I don't even want to understand it. But I think that people need to be aware of it because I am really upset as a parent that my child is put in an environment like that. And, um, you know, I'm all for creativity and imagination, but when someone lives in a fantasy world and expects other people to go along with it, I have a problem with that. So I'm just putting that out there. I will investigate more. And just like that, a new conspiracy theory was born. This is how gullible conservatives are. You can literally just say something and they'll run with it. Doesn't matter what it is. Oh, kids in schools nowadays, they're like playing this game where they take a turd and they try to throw it into their friends' mouths. Um, and it's disgusting. Like, this is the agenda that's being pushed by the left. Like, you could just say that, and they literally believe it, because that's how fucking gullible these people are. But not only did she hear that um, they were putting litter boxes, or they put a litter box in one particular school in said district in a unisex bathroom, but she then ext extrapolated and said, well, you know, this is happening all across the country, because this is part of their agenda. And because this imbecile said that, well, it began to blow up. The Midland Public School channel on YouTube usually gets no more than a couple hundred views per video, but this particular board meeting got over 91,000 views after her claim went viral, and it really blew up once the far-right Twitter hate account lips of TikTok picked it up and amplified it, which then led to Republican politicians sharing it. So Ms. Sean Maddock, the co-chair of Michigan's Republican State Party, shared the video on Facebook after it was shared by a community member who called that lady's evidence-free claim shocking, presumably signaling that he believed it. And in response to that video, a Republican State House candidate in Texas then took that claim, not only ran with it, but broadened out the conspiracy. Her name is Michelle Evans, and here's what she said in response to that video. Cafeterias are being lowered in certain Round Rock middle and high schools to allow furries to more easily eat without utensils or their hands, i.e. like a dog eats from a bowl. Now, where'd that claim come from? Nowhere. She pulled it out of her ass, just like the mom that showed up to that school board meeting did in December 21st of 2021. But that's not all, because Republican lawmaker in the state of Nebraska, he echoed that same conspiracy on television. Take a look at what he had to say. And I'm a little shocked, I guess is what I would put it. It's called something called furries. If you don't know what furries are, it's where school children dress up as animals, cats or dogs, during the school day. They meow and they bark, and they interact with their school, with the teachers and that in this fashion. And now schools are wanting to put litter boxes in the schools for these children to use. How is this sanitary? I'm gonna have a discussion with CEO Smith about this. This is something I think how can schools allow this to happen? I think it's very disruptive within the school system. I think it's very disruptive within the classes. I even heard from one person here recently said that a, that a, that a student identified as a cat and wanted a litter box, and the school didn't provide the litter box, so the student went ahead and defecated on the floor. Really? Really? School administrators, what is going on? Nebraska Department of Education, what is going on? State Board of Education, what is going on? If some kids can't wear American flag to walk through the school on their shirt, and you keep them out of school, and you kick them out of school, but it's okay if, if they wear a cat costume, and that's fine, and you have a litter box for them, and that's fine? So notice how it's like a bad game of telephone where it starts with this conspiracy about them putting litter boxes in unisex bathrooms and then it somehow lands on, oh, well, when they don't put the litter boxes in these bathrooms, students then shit on the floor. And where are they getting all of this? They're completely fabricating it. Now, that lawmaker, after looking like an imbecile, was forced to apologize, but the school district had to come out and dispel that myth. And since this blew up around the country, other school districts had to do the same thing. The Carroll County School District in Iowa had to dispel this rumor after it spread there. The Wanakee Community School District had to debunk the claim as well. Now, of course, the Midland superintendent, where this claim originally spread, had to come out and debunk this claim, saying, no, we're not putting litter boxes 
in the bathrooms, you fucking morons. Not his words, but mine. As Natalie Pate of the Statesman Journal explains, Midland Superintendent Michael Shero rejected the claim outright in an email sent January 20th to parents, staff, and community members. Let me be clear. There is no truth whatsoever to this false statement slash accusation. There have never been litter boxes with MPS schools, he wrote. It is such a source of disappointment that I felt the necessity to communicate this message to you, right? Across the country from New York to Iowa and Texas, the same rumors swept through districts this spring. The New York Times, USA Today, PolitiFact, Reuters, and Snopes, among other publications, wrote articles confirming the claims were unfounded. Yet, it seems the rumor has reached Oregon, with recent gossip asserting Salem-Kaiser Public Schools officials approved a student's request to self-identify as a cat and allowed litter boxes in the restrooms of Sprague High School. District officials confirmed to the Statesman Journal that the claims are categorically false. And just to be clear, this is the third different time that this conspiracy theory has popped up. So now, as of September, the start of the new school year, it's a rumor that's spreading around Oregon school districts. And it presumably got its second life back in spring, as the article states, presumably because of this viral post on Facebook where this right-wing mom is likely parroting the same dumb shit that she heard from the lady at the original school board meeting at the Midland School Board District back in December of 2021. So it's like conspiracy theory whack-a-mole, where you have this original claim it gets debunked, and then somebody sees that presumably for the first time. They spread it. It goes viral again. Perhaps people who learn that it was false see that and think, oh, well, I thought this was fake. I guess it really is real because somebody is saying that they heard it too. So it's a game of telephone where people parrot dumb, fake bullshit, and then it leads to school officials having to come out and take time out of their day to say, no, we don't have litter boxes in the bathrooms. You can check. Look at the bathrooms. They're shitting in toilets like normal human beings. But again, let's go back to why this is so prevalent. It's because this is one way that they can uh, be hysterical and fearmonger over trans rights. Because as I said, if, you know, they can believe or these parents end up believing that students are now identifying as cats and shitting in litter boxes, then that points the finger at trans students. Oh, well, it's because of them. Since your daughter is now claiming that she's a boy, well, my kid might think that they're a cat. And I don't want my kid to, you know, come out as a cat because that's definitely a thing that's happening. So because of trans people, this is now happening. Because of trans people, other bad things are happening. It's a blame game. And this is a common thing that we see when the majority who's against civil rights tries to demonize the marginalized minority. But of course, you know, somebody like Marjorie Taylor Greene, completely gullible with no common sense whatsoever, is going to believe this and not even question for a second. Wait a second. Where's your evidence? Where'd this come from? She just buys it and says, they're embracing lies. Of course, not realizing the irony from this former QAnon supporter, emphasis on the former, because who knows? But either way, I mean, if Republicans are this gullible, that's a problem for the country. Sure, we can make fun of them and dunk on them. That's fine. But you can't be this gullible and have society be healthy, right? If they can believe something as stupid as this, they could believe anything. More dangerous lies. This is how we got to this point where most of the Republican Party doesn't believe that the election in 2020 was fair. So here we are where the right in this country will believe anything, and there's just no standard for evidence, no scrutiny whatsoever. They just hear someone say it, and they run with it, and it blows up. We have to find some way to educate these people, give them media literacy training, just have them develop a better bullshit detector. But until that's the case, if that's even possible, we're going to continue to see stories like this, and they're probably going to get even dumber. Up yours, up yours, up yours. Sons of bitches, bitches, bitches. Woke moralism, woke moralism, woke moralism. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital way. region was exposed. I let her have her way.